Hello everybody, my name is Casey, and this is part number 4 as I continue on in level 38. A quick recap in case anybody is confused. Kent Brockman found a snooping spying software. He's been spreading internet gossip secrets of Springfield residents on the news and all over town. The residents are very upset and they have formed an angry mob to storm Channel 6 Studios. I'm getting out of these tentacles, something terrible. Ah, so many characters. But so much money and XP. Let's listen to the sweetest sound in the world. Oh, that was so heavenly. And my computer didn't crash on me, which is awesome. Next up is Marge Simpson in witch form. Shame on you, Brockman. Think of the children and all their terrible secrets you uncovered. Ah, I want Helen Lovejoy. Hopefully we get her soon. Now that I say it out loud, shouldn't we be alarmed that all of our children have terrible secrets? It's actually very true, I never thought of that. But no one was watching my show. You had backed me into a wall with your lack of interest and my poor performance. Let's go on, Brockman. What other choice did I have? My numbers were down. My only sponsors were consolated lint and political ads for inmate elections. So I used Police Chief Wiggum's snooping software to find gossip. Wiggum was spying on the whole town? There's that premium character again. Thank you, Jasper. And there's Mo once again. You know what? I'm going to not say no. Kent Brockman may be off the hook. The residents have now turned their attention to Chief Wiggum and the police station. Once again, there is a ridiculous amount of people, this time at the police station. Come on, computer, don't crash. It has happened before, even though I keep saying that. An enchanting musk. Quimby, help! Brockman told the town about the super snooper, and they're trying to break down the door. Luckily, it is made of reinforced steel. No, it's not. I misappropriated those funds for the council. Get Miss Springfield some jewelry. What you had to form that time, I forgot her birthday. But the whole town's out for my blood. We're on the cusp of a revolution. Just yours? Not mine? Well, that's okay then. Call if you have a real emergency. Okay. Ah, yeah. So Wiggum's up next. Mayor Quimby, I look like a pig. I squeal like a pig. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. 20 years of salary cuts and this is how you repay me? Fine. I'll win them back just like I do every year with a confusing speech. A winning smile and counting dead people as voters. Vote Quimby. Oh, finally a short quest. That's some fine job doing. Yes? Listen up everyone, I am sure there is a perfectly reasonable explanation for the entire sequence of events that has led up to this point. Oh yeah? What's that then? I have no idea, which is why I'm forming a non-partisan committee to look into this. It will be composed of cheerleaders from the professional sports teams 
and will meet at sea on my government purchased yachts. Yar! Finally a government body I can stand behind. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Way to go, Sea Captain. You're finally useful. That better have been one hell of a speech, Quimby. You are definitely going to need it. Task completed. No, don't listen to him. He's just trying to divert our attention. Oh no, a precocious little girl. Every politician's worst nightmare. Time to bail. I, er, uh, I think we can all agree that it was, uh, all Wiggum's fault. Vote Quimby. That's just like him. Time to roast his pig at the stake. Any last words, Wiggum? I had a statement prepared, but I left the note cards in my police cutoffs. Stop! We can't stoop to his level and break the law ourselves. We should tell challenge Wiggum's heinous trespasses in court. Ah, uh, nobody will let me use my pig roasting spit. Not the building association, not the health department, and now not even an angry mob. Someone call 911! What? What? Okay, there goes Wiggum. Hey, do you remember me, Judge Snyder? Under these robes beats the heart of a gladiator. There goes Judge Snyder. And once again, 15 citizens, this time, have to attend hey, what the? a court hearing. It all comes down to this. Guilty or not guilty. <laughs> Come on now, here. now why did you all pull me out of my chambers? I was in the middle of a very important nap. Chief Wiggum has publicly admitted to spying on the people of Springfield using a piece of dubious government-developed software. That is true. He has been using it. And... Well, it's immoral, unethical, and unconscionable. I don't know how to pronounce that word. None of those words are illegal. I'm not here to decide what's right or wrong. Yes, you are. You're a judge. That's exactly it, Lisa. See, she agrees with me. You're not doing a good job, Judge Snyder. Man, maybe I'm not cut out for this stuff at all. And maybe I should stop doubting myself out loud while in the midst of a case. Either way, not guilty. What? That doesn't even make sense. You're the worst judge in the world. I hate you. A lot. Worse than the dog betting track in my Let's Play Simpsons series. Now is the time the judge home would pop up. But instead, let us listen to the sweet, sweet sound of money and XP. Ah. Alright, Judge Snyder, I don't like you very much, but let's see what you say. You know, I signed up to be a judge because of the breezy uniform, but who knew it would be so much work? You're not really making a good case for yourself. I should go on one of those traveling staycations I've been hearing so much about. Where should I go? Why Arizona? Or why not Mississippi? Yo, let me know when you're going. I can keep an eye out on your house. Maybe even watch your dog for you. Unless you don't have a dog which will make the robbing all that easier. Oh, 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 goodness gracious. Sorry. I accidentally double tapped. So I have no idea what was said. But 
whatever it was, he's going on a 24-hour vacation. Like I said, now is the time Judge Harm would pop up. But alas, she's not in this particular content. Not yet, anyway. Hey, do you remember me, Judge Snyder? Under these robes beats the heart of a gladiator. So there he goes for a full day. The same fishing spot as Superintendent Chalmers. That is quite the secluded area, isn't it? I think it's a very good spot for a minnow pond. Hopefully Judge Snyder was able to relax, unwind, think things over clearly. I'm getting the hell out of here. Apparently not. He wants to get the hell out of here. I tell ya. Okay, well what are you gonna do now that you don't like my fishing spot? You're out of order, jerk. That vacation reminded me that I'm just so much more than a judge that passes down verdicts. I'm also a man that passes down verdicts. Time to start living my dreams. Once again, I accidentally double tapped. Stupid mouse. Krusty is holding auditions for the Moses in a straight to cell phone production of The Exodus. Sounds like it has promise. You should go for it. I did have a short lived TV show called Naked Court. At least they told me it was a TV show. <sighs> Interesting. Quite the interesting quest indeed. Trying out for a role. Hmm. Are there some chambers I could retire to? A little gaveling ought to take care of this thing. So there he goes. Hopefully he gets the part. Hmm. I wonder if Judge Snyder got the part. I think he did. I think secretly he has awesome acting chops. Amy, I I feel out of here. as good as I look. Hey, who has the next quest? Krusty. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Judge Snyder. I admit I was drunk, but Mr. Teeny was behind the wheel. I swear. Actually, I'm looking to branch out from the underappreciated world of justice to the overappreciated world of acting. I'm auditioning for the role of Moses. Okay, I guess he hasn't actually started yet. Wonderful. But you'll never get it like that. Justice might be blind, but the public isn't. And you're a little too... Rotund? No, that's not the word I'm looking for. Hefty? Heavy set? I got it. Morbidly obese. I feel we could have stopped at Robund. I was gonna say Robund. Rotund. Are there some chambers I could retire to? Overruled. <laughs> All right, you fat, disgusting slob. Time to slim down to become Moses. Judge Snyder, bless his heart. He's trying, and I give him credit, but one hour of exercise is probably not going to be enough to slim down. You're out of order, jerk. For his acting role. I'm getting the hell out of here. But I am very curious to see what is going to happen next. Why do I bother wearing clothes under my robes? Judge Snyder, this time both Mr. Teeny and I were drunk, but I don't think a crop duster is considered a vehicle. No, Krusty, I'm still here for the audition. 
I've lost 30 pounds, plus I donated my robe to be turned into a six-person tent. So are you ready? Are we, wait, so are you ready to part the Red Sea for me? What? Oh yeah, Moses. Well, no one is going to see this film anyway. You've got yourself a deal. Hey, do you remember me, Judge Snyder? I guess he lost 30 pounds in an hour. It must be some kind of weird, crazy new diet, new fad. Or something, I don't know what I'm talking Under about. these robes beats the heart of a gladiator. But he got the acting gig, so good for him. He realized the dream and he saw through it to the very, very end. You gotta admire that. I'm just seeing where he's going. Probably to Channel 6 Studios, but you never know. Yep. So officially, this is the last part. The finale, the conclusion of level 38. The big question is, did you guys like it or did you hate it? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I for one actually really enjoyed it. Judge Snyder is awesome as a character, although I do wish we could have seen Judge Harm. Maybe in another future patch we will. But it would have made a lot more sense to add her in this particular patch. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, it is all good. As usual, my name is KC, and I will see you on the next one.